Hello, everybody. Welcome to Average Joe Watch Reviews, where we do more than just review. Today, we're going to be doing an uncut, unscripted version of the overview of Bulova's new limited edition and also some of their special collections on their website today. So we're not going to waste too much time, but before we do so, can you please do me a huge favor and click that like button and show support of the new format. If you do like it, please let me know down below. So let's just dive into Bulova's new lineup. So first and foremost, I actually wanted to highlight the Lunar Pilot. Now, I know you guys are going to say, well, this isn't a new release. But up here, as we can see, it is new and it is a limited edition. It's limited to 70 pieces. This actually is going to uh, commemorate the Nile Rodgers 70th birthday. Now, Nile Rodgers is a Grammy-winning uh, artist, musician, very well-known in the music uh, community. Um, I'm pretty baffled in regards to how this relates to the Moonwatch. I know he has a fascination with it, but for me personally, I don't get how this is is how this relates to the moon watch i would think that an astronaut of some sort will be on here so i'm a bit confused with this collaboration however if you are a true niles fan and want to watch that to me is makes more sense you would pick up one of these and this one here has a record and it's actually a a good example of a wood watch if anybody uh, has never liked a wood watch this is pretty interesting and as we can see in the back here uh they do have it limited to 70 pieces and um this is the uh, happy 70th birthday this one here is 295 and you're looking at you know a quartz movement 9t22 and, you know, it's accurate to about 15 seconds a month. You're looking at a 40 millimeter case diameter, 20 millimeter lugs. So there you go with that. Now, back to the Lunar Pilot, guys. If you want to get a Lunar Pilot, um, why don't you take a look at one of these? Like, for instance, this one here at 493 actually comes with a nice display box and it even comes with an extra strap and also that nice tool uh, tool there to uh, change your straps and i just think this one here is just a much better example at a much more affordable price you're not getting anything less i mean me personally i would actually go for this one here with the metal bracelet and this one here is just a little bit more money at 527 you can find these obviously cheaper on ebay um or even amazon but um this one here just is more reminiscent of a classic um lunar pilot and just like the limited edition guys you're looking at a movement uh the hertz movement which is basically eight times greater than the standard quartz uh this watch actually dates back to 1971 with the apollo 15 um mission and this 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 watch has a lot of history as uh, as you can see here um eight times greater so that actually equates to plus or minus 10 seconds not a day not a week not a month but a year guys this is such an accurate movement one of the most accurate watches in the world watch with some history um one of the drawbacks of this particular piece is the 45 millimeters okay it is a bigger watch, guys. Um, so if you have a wrist that's seven inches or less, um, seven inches, I, I actually wore it pretty well. But I think anything less than seven inches, man, of, of wrist size, you're gonna you're gonna definitely run into some problems. Um, these pushers are actually awesome. Um, they actually have great feedback. As you can see, they're actually brushed, and it's so awesome, like how it's integrated into the case. It's just this overall design here with the white handset here. It's just a really great watch. Um, so, yeah, uh, this one isn't necessarily the new one. The new one in the limited was the Niles Rogers one. But I just wanted to show you guys a, a different example there. So uh, let's move on to this one here. 
This one here is the parking meter, guys. This is the bullhead design. You've got all the pushers here on the top, including the crown. And what does this look like? Absolutely. It's a parking meter. And this is actually reminiscent of the original that was produced in 1973, which was considered the golden age of Bulova. Now, this is just a re-edition, and this, is, this essentially is looking um, to replicate the, a New York City uh, uh, parking meter. I like the, the blue and the orange together, and this one here is actually a sapphire crystal. All right, it has 100 meters of water resistance, and it's actually limited to 5,000 pieces worldwide. So this is a piece that I, I actually do like. Um, I'm actually pretty tempted to pick one of these up, to be quite honest with you. I think it's just really cool. And here we go with the limited edition. 1973 to 2023, guys. 50th anniversary. So there you go there. And in regards to, hmm, we're not going to want to play. Let's see if I have uh, technical difficulties, guys. That's what happens when you do a live format. There we go. Let's see if we can get this to play. This thing is really starting to get on my nerves, guys. <laughs> Oh, my goodness gracious. There we go. All right, so there you go, guys. Uh, this one actually has the 0S21 as a quartz movement. About 15 seconds of accuracy a month. It's a 43 millimeters, but I think because of the way it's shaped, it actually isn't necessarily round. It's a little bit more oblong. Uh, 22 millimeter lug width, but as you can see, it's more of an integrated. So I don't know if this will be a strap monster or not, but oh, guys, it's a pretty cool watch. So just saying. Um, all right, on to the next one. We've got the Wilton GMT, guys. I'm liking this watch a lot. Uh, I think it's really classic. So if you're looking for a dress piece, this one definitely is elegant, and as you can see, it's got the world printed on the dial there. I like the GMT in red and also the red GMT hand. You've got the traditional hands actually here, and I, I don't know if that's loom, but it looks like it would be loom on there, okay? But just a very classic-looking watch. Um does have a 42 hour power reserve so this is going to be in 24 uh, joule automatic and um yeah it's just uh really nice with the roman numerals and um i'll tell you it's uh it's a beauty um as we can see here um these these videos are just not wanting to play for me today of course um while i want to get them to play they don't want to play so that's fine that's fine uh, we're looking at a 90-75 movement, so this is indeed the new Miyota GMT movement that you – I actually just did a review of this particular movement um, from Jack Mason, actually. And the only other micro brand that has this movement right now is Boulder, and I'm actually in the process of getting one of those as well, so stay tuned for that. So uh, we're looking at a 43 millimeters, you know – this is my issue with Bulova, is that they produce really good designs, but the watches are just too large. And this one is no different. Um, for a watch of this, especially for a dress watch, this watch should be 40 millimeters, 38 millimeters, you know, but to be 43, especially with this, it's not even a diver. So this is going to wear very large on the wrist, guys. So that's where my issue lies. All right, and then um, it also comes in a gold version, which is actually very nice as well at 608. So a little bit of a premium over 595, just a tad though, just a tad. So here, um, this was just something that I found interesting. It's not necessarily new, um, but it's something that I don't see too often on YouTube. And I wanted to point it out because I mean, look at the display box. It comes in a really beautiful packaging. 
And look at this bracelet. It looks really nice. But again, this is a very large watch. Now, it does feature that precision movement with the 262 kilohertz. So you're going to get that accuracy. Uh, water resistance is very weak at 50 meters, guys. Um, 540, not bad, not bad. Uh, take a look at some more stats down here. And we take a look at that high performance quartz. Again, looking at plus or 10, plus or minus 10 seconds a year. 46 millimeter case size, guys. Again, another watch that I would have considered, except for the fact that it's 46 millimeters, guys. Man, it's just such a bummer. It really is. I mean, it's a beautiful dial, very retro. Um, man, it's just, I, I'm really bummed out by it. I mean, it does have good reviews. And as you can see, it's just so detailed with the red, the white, and the blue here. Very Americana. Um, it's hard to tell. Yeah, that is red. Um, just, just very, very, um, just disappointing, I have to say. Now, you do get Dome Sapphire Crystal, all right? And, uh, yeah, it's just just a bummer. Uh, let's move on. Let's move on to this one here, which is a more affordable red, white, and blue watch. 1970s retro style. This is the surfboard, okay? And this is the, that's what the style is referred as, the surfboard, right? The distinctive oval shape of of the uh, sub dials there and you got your red white and blue so very pepsi look but very vintage very vintage this is the chronograph a and um it definitely is uh pays homage to uh the chronograph back in the 70s water resistance here is a lot more impressive at 200 meters and you are getting a five hand chronograph quartz movement dome sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating so that's a nice touch that you don't see a lot on Bulova as well looks like i got a nice little uh buckle there too now with this quartz movement guys you're not getting you're not getting that high precision um that 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 you once uh that that we were getting on the other ones so we're getting just a a typical 6s21 movement this model was was released back in January of 2020. And, uh, you know, at least the case diameter here, 40 and a half. So just about a 41 lug width, definitely a strap monster. That dome sapphire crystal that you saw there, guys, let's take a look at that right, right there. Look at that. Look at that. Whew. That's a, that's a great shot, guys. It's, I, it's a good looking watch and it's not going to break the bank. You are getting some of those higher end materials with this, with the, um, you know, the 200 meters of water resistance to dome sapphire and the, and the anti-reflective coating. So um, this one's a winner for me, guys. Um, they also come with different varieties too. They also have this on a bracelet, except for the fact that this one is 2950. And the reason why this one is so expensive, besides the fact that you're getting ultra cool packaging, is the fact that this one is actually going to be powered by the SW510. This is going to be a Swiss made movement. And you're also getting a 38 and a half uh, millimeter in size. Now, I actually wanted to go back because they actually have one in gold as well. Um, if that would actually load up here. There we go. So they got a gold version here for 510. Um, Man, that's a lot of money for just gold. Is there a different movement in there? That's the same old quartz. Um, but you're getting this in, this one in gold. Um, pretty big premium for having this in gold, to be quite honest with you. Um, a little bit shocked by that one. And then they have a black version as well um, at 354. So this one would be more of like the like a Coke. So pretty cool there. And then lastly, as I Actually, I was supposed to say it in the beginning. So uh, lastly, I actually wanted to talk about Bulova's most expensive watch in their collection. And that is the $20,000 Accutron. Yes. The 2020 Space View. This one here 
$19,600, limited to 60 pieces, 18 karat gold, guys. Really, really cool. Um, I, as you guys know, I do own an Accutron from the uh, the original era with the bow tie lugs, and uh, this one is going to pay homage, and it actually has that electrostatic uh, technology, whereas the one I own was the first electric, true electric, all electric watch. So very, very cool, guys. Um, just some other ones that I really, really liked. Um, oh, you know what? I do like their Curve collection, guys. I know, um, let me see here. I know, again, this is not one of their newer watches, but they do have some newer designs that I wanted to share with you here. So check these guys out. Uh, this is the watch that essentially has the first curved movement. So it's not just the the case itself, but the movement actually has a little bit of a curve too. And these watches fit on the wrist very, very comfortably. Um, I've actually tried one of these on. Bit pricey for what they are, you know, kind of a gimmicky kind of watch, but um, definitely really cool nonetheless. Um, I did want to share with you, I believe this is it here. Yes. So um, these are the Frank Lloyd Wright watches. So if you're looking for something a little bit different, uh, Frank, Lloyd, uh, Frank Lloyd Wright is essentially a, an architect, well-known, one of the greatest architects of the 20th century. And, you know, this, these watches are inspired by some of his architectural designs. And a lot of them are like based off the stained glass that he had as well. Um, that he's created, such as this one here. Um, you can see some of that stained glass pattern. And, you know, like these watches, they don't break the bank. Um, if you like tank style, this one here, really cool looking watch at 268. Um, again, some of that stained glass that he's done. Um, getting very basic stuff, though, the basic quartz movement. Um, you know, nothing, nothing fantastic, but uh, reliable, obviously. But, um, yeah, I just thought that this collection was definitely worthy of at least showing you guys. This is another cool one here, uh, December Gifts. And, hey, if you're looking for a day-date complication here, uh, again, Quartz, you've got this one here. And I like the way they implemented that. It actually blends in with the dial. So and I, that counterbalance is pretty cool there. Um, looks like the symbol of the Frank Lloyd Wright Foundation. So pretty cool. And um, I want to end the video on one more collection that I did hit on um, a few years back, but I feel as though it's worth uh, showing you guys. And that's one of the special collections from actually, um, actually, I'm going to skip that one. Um, actually, if you want to see the uh, Frank Sinatra collection, I do have a video on that. So I'm not going to do that. I actually want to jump over to this one here, which is the Joseph Boulevard collection. The uh, Frank Sinatra worth uh, showing you guys, and that's one of the special collections from. Actually, um, actually, I'm going to skip that one. Um, actually, if you want to see the uh, Frank Sinatra collection, I do have a video on that, so I'm not going to do that. I actually want to jump over to this one here, which is the Joseph Boulevard collection. Now, these aren't cheap watches; they're all limited, from what I understand. You got an automatic here. Um, the chronograph, but you got a lot of these here that are based off of the like the early 30s watches, some of them called the banker's watches. This one here, very interesting. Um, and even the, the case backs, look at this beautiful watches, guys. Um, I'm liking them. Uh, actually, you're getting a Swiss SW200 movement, so that's that's impressive in and of itself. Wow. But yeah, I mean, here's here's the collection here. I mean, beautiful watches here. Um, just take a look at these guys. Um, I've actually been tempted to pull the trigger on on one of these on eBay, but um, I'll tell you, it's just um, I don't I don't wear dress watches a lot, and I wish I did because if I did, I think this would definitely be added to my collection. I mean, look at that! Look at those two beautiful watches, guys. So. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this format. Um, definitely something different for you. And um, that's all I have for you today. So always remember there's always time to be kind to one another. Please take care of each other. And I'll see you guys next time on Average Joe Watch Reviews. God bless, my friends. Hey, it's Ryan Reynolds. I know. 